Rustock at any particular point in time was among the most prolific of spam bots, uh, spewing forth at least at one point up to 30 billion email messages. The numbers are staggering. Until March of 2011, the Rustock botnet reportedly pushed nearly half of all spam traffic worldwide through a network of roughly one million slave computers. Botnets are armies of computers infected by malicious software to operate under the remote control of a cyber criminal. This can often happen with legitimate computer owners never even knowing their computer is living a dark and secret double life. Botnets like Rustock are the tool of choice for cyber criminals to conduct a variety of attacks online. That's why Microsoft's Digital Crimes Unit and its partners pulled together to take it down. The spam it sent out primarily involved counterfeit pharmaceuticals. Uh, selling uh, drugs to consumers and unbeknownst to them uh, that these drugs were a counterfeit. Spam is a huge element to the counterfeiter. It's how they get in your household. If you're receiving an unsolicited email, they're not selling authentic product nine out of ten times. The promotion of fake drugs made the battle against Rustock not only a cutting-edge technical security issue, but a basic health and safety fight with potentially serious public health consequences if left operational. This is a photo of one counterfeit drug operation. The conditions can be appalling. We've seen heavy metals, we've seen toxic chemicals. They pull together whatever they can. It's, you know, one scoop today, two scoops tomorrow. To bring down Rustock, Microsoft and its partners studied the case for months, putting together a sophisticated operation to disrupt the botnet through technical and legal measures. It's Microsoft's second botnet takedown operation as part of what's called Project Mars. Microsoft Active Response for Security. The first was the successful takedown of the Waladec botnet in 2010, but this one was larger and more complex. It's really a very complicated piece of malware. Uh, we were targeting over 100 IP addresses within the United States that were being used for command and control. Command and control servers like these were taken offline and in some cases taken as evidence in seven U.S. cities and in Holland. The element of surprise was critical. A legal strategy was used based on the same idea behind busting other counterfeit merchants to protect corporate trademarks, in this case, of both Microsoft and Pfizer. It's the first time this legal procedure has been used to take down a botnet. We're showing the bad guys that we are being proactive, we're going forward and we're doing something about the problem, and uh, we hope that others follow in our, in our footsteps on this as well. There are several ways you can ensure your own computer isn't part of a botnet army having a strong password, running some sort of software or hardware-based firewall, keeping your software up to date, keeping your antivirus up to date and current. If you think your computer might be infected, please visit support.microsoft.com botnets.